Okay, so um, we're going to talk a little bit about applying the idea that there are 360 degrees in a circle. Uh, the first one is um, for number 12. It says a point C and D lie in a circle whose center is O. If the length of arc CD is once both of the circumference of the circle, what is the measure of COD? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture, right? Draw a circle, center O, and it says that CD is 112. So it's going to be pretty small. Um, so CD. And you know this is 1 12th the entire circumference, right? Uh, so the question is, what is the measure of COD? And we need to find this angle right here, right? Um, so the question is, how do we relate arc length to um, central angle measure, right? Uh, and it's not a one-to-one -one, uh, thing exactly. It's not like, you know, it's, you know, whatever the actual measurement is, it's not exactly equal to it, but it, it is uh, proportional, right? So what I mean by that is, if you look at a pizza, a traditional pizza is cut into eight slices, right? Now each of these slices represents an eighth of the pizza, right? So each of these angles is one eighth of 360 degrees, in this case, 45 degrees, right? Uh, bonus, if you are ever out of a protractor, you need to approximate a 45 degree angle by a slice of pizza. Um, but also the crust is one eighth of the entire crust, right? So this angle is one eighth, this crust is one eighth of the entire circumference of that. Uh, and obviously the area of this sector is one eighth of the area of the entire pizza as well. So it's the same concept here. If this is one twelfth of the entire circumference, then everything else is one twelfth, right? So in this case, um, we know that one over 12 is gonna equal X over 360. It's a proportion we'd like to set up uh, 12 x equals 360, x equals 30, and that's it, we're done. Okay, so that's one way of thinking about how to relate um, uh, yeah, central angles and uh, arc length and uh, sector areas to um, the whole circle. So just remember pizza, right? Pizza is your friend. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, try using this concept when there is no circle. So in this case, we see this triangle. It says in the figure above, three triangles are similar, which means that the angles are all the same but not the length of the sides. And they want to know the value of x, right? So x, 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 x. Uh, and then we have these other angles right here, right? So um, we're going to recognize that this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus 70 plus 90 plus 110 equals 360 because if I drew a circle right here, we'd see that these are all sort of part of the interior of the circle and make up the entire thing. So we know that 70 plus 90 plus 110 plus whatever these three angles are is going to equal 360, right? Well, how can we rep represent these angles? An easy way to do it is say, well, in one triangle, I know it's 180 degrees and I already have two x's. So I know that this angle is going to equal 180 minus 2x. That's going to be the same for this and the same for this because the angles are all the same, right? So it's 3 times 180 minus 2x, right? So there's our equation. We can just solve for x at this point, right? All right, so uh, 70 plus 90 plus 110 is 270 plus 540 minus 6x. Make sure you distribute the 3 equals 360, right? Um, and then we want to simplify. So uh, 270 plus 540 is 810. 6x equals 360. Negative 6x equals, was that 450? Yeah. Negative 450, x equals 75. Boom. All right. So uh, these are two applications of using the fact that there are 360 degrees in a circle. Uh, one um, sort of takes advantage of the correlations, and this one uh, takes advantage of the, um, the fact that there doesn't have to be a circle there for it still to be true.